Hello there. What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing to do is to erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get back into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space 2 with two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the 2D drawing and solid model. I created the two viewports so that you can better understand the part which I'm going to draw. Also know that all dimensions will be in inches. With the line command, I'll pick a point, draw a line upward, 1.25. Move to the right, 2. Move down, 1.25. Move to the left, and close. Now I'll offset this line, 0.63. Also, I'll offset this line, 0.63. At this time, I'll select the two vertical and horizontal lines and move them down below like that. And I'll draw a line from that point, 0.63. Also, I'll offset that line above, 0.63. And then I'll create a diagonal line up to there. And I'll erase this horizontal line, which is unnecessary. And now we'll offset this horizontal line above. And using fillet radius zero, clean up this intersection. And also trim from the diagonal line the excesses of that line. Then we'll draw a line from that point up. And we'll use the fillet radius zero to clean up that intersection and use the trim command to remove from that horizontal line that excess. The 2D drawing is now complete. It does not have dimensions, but I think I'll ignore the dimensions for the time being. Using the drawings just completed, I'll create the solid model, but first I'll create a new layer, call it solid, and make it current. The top view is unnecessary to create the solid, so I'm going to erase it. And then, using a polyline, I'm going to trace over the object. And move it upward. And I'll use another polyline to trace over the small rectangle and move that up also. The front view is no longer necessary, so it too can be erased. Before extruding the parts, I'll move into the southeast isometric view. And now I shall extrude the large polygon a distance of 1.25. Of And I'll extrude the smaller triangle a distance of 0.63. Then we're going to move the right triangle solid to the, that point. 
and with the Union command join both pieces together. And now using AutoCAD's uh, 3D operation, rotate 3D, we can select the object, find set a base point, I'll click the red ribbon and type 90 so that the unit is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise and now we can add some shading to the object. Actually the drawing doesn't look all that good so I'm going to go and move it to another layer called solid which will have the color red. The two viewports are no longer necessary, so I'll merge them into one viewport and then move into the plan view. Having finished the 2D solid model and dimensioning of the object, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type M view, enter and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to southeast isometric view, and then pan and zoom so and enlarge the solid model. And of course, to get back to paper space, you have to double click outside the small viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking properties button. Then the standard scale is found under miscellaneous and you can set the scale to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to select 101. Once the scale is set, you can double click inside the large viewport to gain access and then pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. Then of course you double click outside the viewport again. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed or viewed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer called viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want more videos like this, you can search YouTube under MD Guide. Also, please comment on the video as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.